Hey folks, Val here. So, as you've probably figured out by now, this isn't episode 16 of The Heart of Ether. Due to some technical difficulties, and also just the fact that our schedules are all one collective dumpster fire, episode 16 has been, unfortunately, delayed. It's a big episode, and we didn't want to rush it. It will either be coming out next week, October 1st, aka the beginning of Halloween, or the week after. At the time of recording this, I'm aiming for October 1st, but we'll see how it plays out. Thank you all so much for your patience, and if you'd like updates, you can follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at Heart of Ether. In the meantime, this one is actually a fluff episode, I'm not joking this time. Enjoy! Please state your message. Agent June, may I ask you why you were so insistent on coming here? We're supposed to be investigating the whole town, right? The Steiner seems to be pretty popular. Never know what might happen. Might see some monster pop out of the shadows! <laughs> They're definitely playing up the whole 1950s Americana theme. That's kind of the point, yeah. No way in hell I'd survive living in the 50s, but the retro aesthetic does have some charm to it, you know? I suppose. Hey there, can I get you folks started with anything to drink? One cherry on the top signature float, please. Oh, okay, May, hear me out. So, I heard this place has bomb cherry floats. I think they get their cherry cola from this special local place. You gotta try it. Thanks for the offer, but I don't do ice cream floats. Hardly have time to eat as is. I don't usually indulge in dessert. Well, that's the most depressing thing I've ever heard. You could always get the Sweetheart Special and share it. Uh, uh, we're not, uh, uh, I'll have my own. Thanks. Two cherry floats, please. Coming right up. Well, I hope you're pleased with yourself. Worst case scenario, I get two floats, right? Then I don't want to hear it when you get sick later. Maybe, if you simply allow yourself to enjoy a cold cherry delight, I won't have to eat so much ice cream. I will admit, it doesn't sound half bad. That's the spirit! Two cherry on tops. Oh, wow. That was fast. Say, how did you get here so- Can I get you folks started with some food? Or do you need a moment to decide? We'll just start with the floats for now, thank you. So, I've been thinking. That's never a good sign. You haven't even heard what I have to say yet! Alright, spit it out. So. One of our main missions while we're here is to find the heart, right? Right. Only, I think we've been going about it the wrong way. Because, I mean, we've been looking for it as if it's some sort of landmark. As if we could just plug 123 Ether Street into Google Maps and find out it's X hours away if we take the highway. Look at how far that's gotten us, though. Are you saying that you don't think the heart has a set location? What I'm saying is, I don't think we're going to find it by just wandering around and hoping we get lucky. Like, okay, wait, let me borrow your float. Hey, give that back. Relax, I will. So, look at this glorious monstrosity of sugar and carbonation. What do you notice about it? Uh, That looks like a stomachache waiting to happen. The bare essentials, May. Tell me about the ingredients. Uh, it's vanilla ice cream. Yes? With cherry cola and a sticky red syrup poured over it. Exactly! Do the cherries on top factor into this equation? Mm, Let's call them uh, the decorative flair of life and all its drama. They're distractions from what really matters, though. And what's that? 
The ice cream! We've been swimming through the sea of soda for so long looking for answers, and we've come up with Jack. We're here right now, the thick, delectable foam on top. We need to go deeper, but how? What are you suggesting, then? We have to get rid of all the distractions. Get rid of the soda entirely and look at it as simply as possible. If we look at it for what it is instead of what we've made it out to be, then maybe we'll realize how easy it's been to find all along. And how do we do that? We'd have to pour the soda out! Oh, oh God. Now, June, I want you to look around and think about what you just did. Slowly. I'm sorry. You had your own float. Why did you have to dump mine all over the table? It was a metaphor, dude. I just got a bit too into it. Would you like me to make you another one? Actually, I think I'm okay. We'll take the bill now. No food then? I had a late lunch. If you insist. Do you want to share mine? I appreciate the gesture, but... You know what? That'd be nice. Today's quote is, to be careful with people and with words was a rare and beautiful thing. Benjamin O'Leary signs in Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe, 2012. The Heart of Ether is a podcast made by Three-Eyed Frog Presents. It is written and produced by Val West. The voice of Agent May is Caleb Piper. The voice of Agent June is Jackson Rossman. The voice of the waiter is Murray H. Our theme song is composed by Luca Miller, and additional music was provided by Bedoink on Freesound. To follow the show and find transcripts, you can follow us on Twitter and Tumblr at Heart of Ether. Questions and comments can be emailed to us at heartofether at gmail.com. Want to help support the show? Rate and review us on iTunes and Podchaser, and talk about the show using hashtag Heart of Ether Pod. Also, consider buying us a coffee. It really does help a lot. Thank you for listening.